Well, these are designed, produced by a GCAT Plus user working in North America. And the designer has used transparency to indicate some existing large spruce trees and wants to show detailed design through it. And to do that, transparency has been used. So one of the GCAT Plus symbols is underneath and a circle has been applied on top of it. All works well if we go to a layout view and I'll zoom extents in layout. Everything works well but except when you go to print. If you print with a high quality PDF writer the transparency doesn't show so you don't get the effect that you want. And for that if you want to present a design showing transparency we recommend you use file and save as PDF pick a window and maximum and you can OK it. Now this design has been done on a layout, an A1 sheet layout which is a large size format sheet and I'll call this one Grace 5 it's going to produce a PDF file and we're putting it on the desktop and you'll see the result in a moment. It's really quite washed out. I don't think we'd be terribly happy showing that to a client. So how to work around this particular issue? Well the transparent fill is of course done just by placing a circle over the top of these existing symbols. So what I'd do, be inclined to do is just stop doing that. I would just pick these circles and remove them. You could then erase those. You could then label these existing or perhaps change the definition of the, the symbol itself. Make it lighter or darker. So I'll just remove the circles there. We can, if I scroll out and turn view transparent render off I can see quite easily that I just need to remove that circle there and that one there and erase them so I'd be inclined just to put some labeling in to indicate them or even put a there's a brown uh, circle existing tree and you could just put that in in the legend I think if we go back to our layout space now zoom extends we can now print to high quality PDF because all of the PDF writers that we've looked at don't print. They will not print transparency. So we're now in a position to print the design. Well I've made a block called existing trees and shrubs. That brown circle marker is useful and I've added that to the plant schedule. So that's zoom extents. There is one other change I would make, and that is I'd like to use a different and better, bigger scale in that floating viewport. It's currently a scale of 1 to 192, so I'd be inclined to take off a fixed scale and then go to modify, set fixed scale. We pick our layout. Imperial 1 over 128. We just give that a try. 1 over 128. And there we are. We have a. Can't quite fit it in, can we? But we can make some adjustment. If I move it up here and down a little, double click in there just move the magenta target box around a little apart from perhaps moving the text bridge down I'm happy with that deselect the floating window the text here appears to be relatively large so let's grab that and scale it we'll make 0.75 we need to dive in there and, and click 
the scale and edit that to 1 over 1 to 8 and zoom extends so there we are we've got rid of the problem if we go view transparent render you see I can change that and nothing happens so we've removed all instances of that and I think that the existing tree indicator with a very open appearance allows us to see the new design under it quite well so zoom extents and so now at this stage we should now be able to print to a high quality PDF writer such as print cute PDF and maybe I'll cancel again and just show you that the designer here is intending to print that on an A1 sheet so we can say file or we'll turn line weights on file and print cute PDF writer we'll go to properties we'll pick our paper as ISO A1 in landscape format we can leave it at 600 dots per inch although you might want to improve that to perhaps 1200 in landscape mode we OK that we'll just preview this is what we're going to get that looks fine so enter and OK so GK Plus will go off and produce a PDF, high quality PDF version of the design without the transparent problem getting in the way. Well here is the result when printed A1 to a high quality or using a high quality PDF writer such as Cute PDF.